Good afternoon, everybody. A cold and dreary November 3rd. Sorry, I see Jan. We definitely get the idea that, uh, definitely get the idea that winter is coming soon. We've had our first, like, what would you say, showers on and off today, and it's just, uh, it's been kind of depressing, but not for us. <laughs> we had a good, uh, we had a good dollar store lunch today, and that was kind of fun. And then uh, tonight we're going to do something that's been requested that we've never done before. Now, we've reviewed buffets before. Uh, the most recent one being uh, in South Lake Tahoe. We went to the Harvey's Seafood Buffet, and that was excellent. Oh, Missy Jan, that was out of sight. Those crabs and stuff were good. It wasn't over salted. Everything was really good for 30 bucks or whatever a head. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was good value. Uh, and, you know, so maybe going to do alternate routing, but we'll be okay. You can make a left where you can. across the green here anymore. We're just going to go up the next block and make a left. They've got this goofy big green cross square in the center of uh, town. We got you, bro. We got you. Don't sweat it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's out there like a traffic. I don't blame him, man. You better be a highly visible person in this town when you're crossing streets and stuff. So tonight we're going to go to a Chinese place. It's called Fuzhou, and it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. And uh, one of my friends, uh, a couple people would review. Hey, you guys have never done a buffet. Well, this is really the only one. We have a few Chinese ones in town. This has been established since 19. 99. I remember going here in 1999. I remember being at this buffet when the uh, evening that the World Trade Center towers came down on September 11th, 2000. Uh, we were here, September 11, 2001. We were here that night eating dinner. So that's this place has been long established. It's, you know, it's get up and down reviews. Some people don't like the staff and, uh, You're never going to make the turn with these idiots just blocking this stuff. There you go, honey. Hey, you now you can swing it, Jay. Girl. There we go. Hey, Don't girl. stop. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we got that. So City days. So we're going to make a left here again, Jen, and then we're going to make a right on Mendocino and hope we can get parked. Anyway, guys. It's downtown, it is Friday evening, and uh, you know, the chilly weather's got everybody out tonight uh, in the mood, I think, to try to spend a little money and lighten the mood from these fires and stuff. So, where are we going? We're going to go to Fuzo for the all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet, right? Yeah, I've never been there, so... Yes, it'll be a, it'll be a good thing. I probably surprise. have not been here in 10 years, so it'll be uh, interesting be to see. All right, let's get going. This is where we're eating across the street, the Super Buffet. Same location for 19 years. But this is where the uh, FEMA office is here. And unfortunately, a lot of people have been getting ripped off. People have stolen social security numbers and filed, filed false claims and stuff. So that's it. Yeah. All right, so let's get over to the uh, super buffet, huh? Woo! Without getting killed out here. Let's see where Missy Jen is.
Same place inside. Hmm? You like the big chandeliers out there and everything. Huh? Kind of fancy, huh? So here we are. I'll take Missy Jen and walk next to her over there. And we'll see what what they got. Ooh, all right. Fuzo Super Buffet. Big place. Big place. Pretty good. Fried rice. Noodles. Hong Kong style. Mushroom caps. Muscles. Special squid, that's good stuff right there. That is good, that's kick ass right there. Like the uh, crawl dads. These are good too. Looks pretty good, huh, Jen? Yeah. A lot of selection here. Seafood down selection. there, shrimp so and all, all that. I got your purse so you don't have to worry about really dragging nice. that around. So. Okay. Really nice. I like this really a lot. There you go. Woo! She likes it already. And it just goes on and on. You got chicken. Uh, chicken steak, fried scallops, hot stickers. Chicken looks like uh, ribs there. All kinds of good. I think that's frog legs over there. They're pretty good. Over here they have their soups, hot and sour soup. This is the desserts, the cheesecakes and stuff. So they have a pretty they have a pretty big uh there's the cold I love that. Cold shrimp. See there's quite a lot. The quality doesn't look bad, huh? Quality looks okay. Got some sushi here. All right, well, I'm gonna make sure Missy Jen gets seated okay and then I'll uh, get my plate. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So what do you think? You got a sampling of a lot of stuff. It's hard to really describe. I've got a lot of seafood here. I'll tell you, these, these little squids, these mini octopus, man, these things are just, just off the hook. Everything. I have not had them in years. I'm used to using chopsticks with Chinese food, so these things are very hard to spear. Try a little bit of sushi. Nice deep red for the tuna for the sushi. That's a good sign. We got some crab. We 
got some shrimp too. What is that? Like an egg custard or what? Some kind of egg custard. It's really good. All right, good. It's kind of funny. She already brought our uh, already brought our check in. Huh? 35, 56, 15, 49 ahead, which isn't bad. You know, for all you can eat, 15 bucks. So, let's see how it rates up. I'm gonna give a few things a try. Nice and steady, yeah. Jiggly tasty, jiggly tasty things from the sea. <laughs> what do you think, Jen? Baby squid. They're yeah, really good. I practically live, lived on these for breakfast in uh, China. Good, good, good. Tara would like this kind of place. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's give this uh, sushi a whirl here. Get that tuna. I think as long as you do the seafood, you're really getting top value when you come to these kind of places. Interesting looking. I'm not sure they didn't have a sign on it, but it's really good. Yeah, they don't put a sign on everything, but uh, good flow of food. Get some seafood up there. Try that. Sushi's pretty good. A couple pieces of that. So. All right, I did get a, uh, they did bring me a uh, nutcracker here for opening up some of the crabs. So I'm going to get to that. To go for value. All right, I am back. Ding ding for round two up there. Before they even took over this place back in uh, 1999, this used to be a Vietnamese restaurant. See those images are of Vietnam up there. They're not really of uh, China. Frog's legs were good. Got a little bit of this uh, looks like pork rib up here. 
or duck, one or the other. Don't give it away now. Make that a surprise. Good, it's duck. Roast duck. Is it rubber duck or duck? Roast duck. Roast duck. <laughs> Be it, then I'll get some dessert too. I said 15 bucks. We've been value eating all day today. <laughs> and like Rosie, if you weren't so cheap. Yeah, we are starving all day long. Well, actually, it's not true. We had a delicious lunch. Healthy lunch. Delicious and healthy lunch. And now we're having a. We're reviewing our all you can eat buffet. Right this is our 101st. 101. 101. Like the highway that cuts through the city. 101. Alright, Jan, you go get your dessert here. Looks like cheese, a little bit of cheesecake there, and a couple of those little cookies. So, all right, I think they're like a Mexican cookie for the Mexican Maria cookies. All right, clean plate club. Woo! There we go. These are actually called uh, Cleopatra's nipples. Is what that dessert's known as. That was uh, a real favorite of Mozart in the 1800s was that. I haven't seen them in a long time. They have something that's not quite ice cream and I'm gonna buy a couple of these uh, packaged cookies and a little piece of the uh, what is that, little chocolate chopped cheesecake there. Alright, let's dig in. <laughs> I tell you what, not bad tonight. We're going to do the review sitting right here. I think that you can hear us okay. Our audio should be pretty good. Reason being, it's kind of chilly out tonight and it's raining. So rather than stand out there with the traffic noise, we thought we'd give you the restaurant noise. So this was the Fuzhou All You Can Eat Chinese Buffet. It is an institution here. It has been here for 19, 19 years, probably a year after I moved here. This was originally a, a Vietnamese restaurant. I showed you the pictures up on the uh, wall are more like Vietnam scenes with the uh, Saipan hats, the triangle hats and those kind of things. But they took over and they really made a good go. Started with a very small buffet. It used to have a bar in here. They got rid of the bar. And they just kept expanding and making it larger and larger. I think that you can see, Jen, they have a lot of things. They have a lot of food on that, uh, on that buffet back there. Lots and lots yeah. and lots of food. And the quality was pretty good. I mean, they had a lot of seafood, uh, pork, good meats, good vegetables. The sushi was good. The, uh, they had some Chinese delicacies I like too. The frog's legs were good. They had the, uh, the little squid, the big squid. So I was very happy. So um, service was good, no complaints there. They cleared the dishes off. They didn't have any problem with uh, taking care of the table. So for me, with service and everything else in, I'm going to rate this in about an eight star experience tonight. The only thing that would have helped maybe a little more room between the tables. We were really wedged in there. And uh, other than that, a little quieter ambiance. But it's a, it's a buffet. And I think they could use a little bit of help in the uh, dessert department. But they had fresh fruit to be taking too if they wanted that. So. Uh, okay, so eight stars from me, Mr. Jen. What do you think? I gotta say... <clears throat> Everything that I t tried, from the pork to the seafood to the chicken, 
to the desserts and everything. I try to go to a wide variety of different foods. Everything was very tasty, <coughs> good quality food. And uh, like Rosie said, the service was very good. The lady was right on top of taking the dirty dishes away the dirty plates off the table um, she brought a new coffee and everything she's always on top of the game um, yeah i agree the dessert menu could uh, have a little bit more variety but i've seen in a lot of the chinese restaurants that is a problem <clears throat> that's, that's a similar, that's a standard problem, I would say. So I gotta say it's a pleasant, sort of pleasant experience, and I rate this a uh, solid eight. Points. So we got uh, eight points. So we got two eight stars, and uh, I just think it's pretty amazing that it's taken it this long, this many years to get you uh, to get to <laughs> This place has been around uh, for a long time. Yeah, I'm really surprised you haven't yeah, brought me over here. Yeah. So, it took you three and a half years. <laughs> See, I'm full of surprises. Well, there it is. Review but number 101. Sometimes you gotta keep the best <laughs> for later. Good review number 101. It's Friday night. Oh, we're always foodies, whether we're at home or on the road. We love having you guys along. Thanks so much for watching tonight. Mm -hmm. All right, tough guy.